all right <coughs> children so i'm recording the solutions to the mental maths test 25 into 8 equal to 50 into 4 yes definitely see 25 is half of 50 yes and 8 is there and here 4 is half of 8 so you multiply the bigger unit of which the smaller unit is half and you multiply it by a number which is half of the other multiple so yes 25 into 8 is 200 and 15 to 4 is 200 now let's look at the next one if a carton contains 24 packets of 50 grams each what will be the total weight of packets in the carton so i've already told you to cross multiply one packet 50 grams 24 packets will be x cross multiply so x will be 24 into 50 1200 grams or 1.2 kgs will saranj be able to buy a book costing 15 rupees with two coins of rupees 5 and two coins of rupees 2 and one coin of rupee 1 so just let's see what happens a quick calculation two coins of 5 rupees is rupees 10 2 coins of rupees 2 is rupee 4 and 1 coin I'm sorry I have written 1 coins it should be 1 coin of rupee 1 yeah, so I have written coin only uh, 1 coin of rupee 1 is rupee 1 so add 10 plus 4 14 plus 1 15 yes he would be able to buy Nivrita ate 3 fourth of the pizza and Aisha ate 1 fourth of the same pizza how much portion of the pizza will be left for Jia? So you know 3 4th is 3 portions out of 4 portions and 1 4th is 1 portion out of 4 portions. So add both of them 3 plus 1 is 4. So they have eaten the entire pizza. So nothing would be left for Jia. Dasmaya has 27 coins of 50 paise each. How much money is he carrying? So just multiply it 50 paise into 27. So you get 1350 paise and which means 13 rupees 50 paise what is the next prime number after 73 all of us know what prime numbers are they have only two factors one is one and the other factor is the number itself so after 73 the next prime number is 79 class 4 are playing a match against class 5 now why do i say are playing because i'm referring to the players i'm not referring to class 4 is playing you know it's as a classroom it's not playing but the players of class 4 are playing a match against class 5 class 5 have scored the same logic have scored the batsmen of class 5 have scored 153 runs chasing them class 4 scored one third of the total runs and were all out by how many runs did class 5 win the match so first find out one third of the total score 51 runs subtract those 51 from the total score so that is by 102 runs class 4 have lost the match to class 5 what is greater 7 by 5 or 8 by 4 see there are two ways of doing it first you can convert both of them to mixed numbers right or just divide by the denominator so 5 ones are 5 and 2 is left and 5 right so 7 upon 5 means 1 2 by 5 so the quotient is 1 right and here 8 by 4 the quotient is 2 so the quotient is greater so therefore this fraction is greater also you can take an another number any number and find 7 fifth of it the same number will be used to find 8 fourth also so i am taking 20 5 4 the 20 7 into 4 is 28 and 8 by 4 into 20, 4 5 to 28 5 are 40. So 8 by 4 clearly is bigger. So you can follow either of the methods. Okay. What will the will be the perimeter of a rectangle <coughs> whose length is 10 and breadth is half its length? Very easy. So find the breadth, length by 2, 5 centimeters, and the formula is 2 length plus breadth. So 2 outside brackets 10 plus 5 2 into 15 is 30 centimeters convert 17.50 kilometers into meters so 17.50 into 1000 is 17500 meters yes or no yeah see these there's a decimal point over here right 
if 5x is equal to 75 what will be the value of 7x so 5x is 75 find the value of x 75 divided by 5 15 and 7 into 15 will give you the value of 7x 105 if it is 1 10 pm right now if it is 1 10 pm right now what will be the time after seven and a half hours so seven hours it will be 8 10 pm right and seven and a half hours plus 30 8 40 pm if in a knockout tournament there are 10 teams how many teams will be out before the final match between the two teams so it means one team second team plays so one team goes out right so eight teams will be out before the final teams are left see in the first match only one team will be left second match one team will be left third you know so on and so forth how many 7.5 liter buckets will be required to fill a 60 liter drum divide 60 by 7.5 so you get eight buckets you can multiply 7.5 into 8 you'll get 60 or simply if you cannot do this just do a simple method two 7.5 liters will make 15 liters right so 60 divided by 15 is four buckets of 15 liters sorry uh, huh, of 15 liters will fill a 60 liter drum so 7.5 is half of 15 so eight buckets will be required of 7.5 liters 17 19 next prime number 23 all right so this was the series of prime numbers none of the numbers is divisible see so i hope you enjoyed the mental maths test and the expected score in this test was 10 out of 10 uh, sorry 15 out of 15 right however some of you have got the highest i think is 13 out of 15 which is fair enough so practice more thank you very much